Noob, noob. I heard you're like number one Justin Roiland fan. Biggest fan, number one. I love it when he hits me with the domestic violence. Oh my God, Rick. I'm a go Rick. Rick and Moody. <laughs> So I guess we have some updates to the whole Justin Roiland, Rick and Morty situation that you may or may not like. These are things that I've gotten. It explains a whole lot, but it's also very disconcerting because Rick and Morty's dead. We're never going to see Rick and Morty. It's never going to be good again. Never going to recover. We're never going to be a Rick and Morty channel. It's all over. It's all over, Johnny. No, yeah, they're done. Yeah, it's all done. It's all over. We're done. So first, what we have to talk about is this is an article from IGN. Apparently, they've been sitting on this. But Justin Roiland reportedly had no meaningful creative input input, input in on his shows in the recent years. Uh, Rick and Mor- uh, Roiland and Rick and Morty co-creator Dan Harmon were reportedly not on speaking terms because Dan Harmon is a cuck. And Justin Roiland is a baller big peen guy. Choo choo! Choo choo, big peen! Dan Harmon literally had episodes about how he won a. Yeah, because he his girlfriend left him because she wouldn't he wouldn't allow her to bang other dudes. That was dude just watch the pops, that's what happened. But he may get, uh, Justin Roiland may get convicted of domestic felony violence allegations. He could spend five to six years in jail. Apparently, all of his projects have been canceled, which include Rick and Morty, Koala Man, Solar Opposites. All of them have been canceled. And he has not had any meaningful creative presence in any of the series that bear his name. Pretty weird. I mean, he's a weird dude. But, yeah. I mean, it explains why season three and beyond of Rick and Morty kind of suck, right? So they're saying that so- at some point in third season, he wouldn't even talk to the writers in the writer room uh, back in 2017. So he's been wavering for many years, and uh, he wasn't involved. It's kind of weird. He would push the voice work right up to the deadline and then bail on his other commitments. He's a piece of shit. Justin Roiland. Yeah. Not Dan Hunt. No. And they're saying, like, here's our opinion piece on why Rick and Morty will be just fine without Roiland. No. It will absolutely fail. People are already not that interested in it. I, um, Moist Critical, Penguin Zero, was already not interested in it. Who the hell is Penguin Zero? Dude has, like, 10 million subscribers on YouTube. He's much cooler than you. You have, like, five subscribers. remember anymore i am trapped in the toxic make it gay. apparently though justin roiland's behavior goes even deeper and darker his alleged toxic behavior included telling a woman to go into sexual slavery did he join nixium i don't know but it apparently he's been charged with several felony domestic violence charges since 2020 and several other sexual misconduct I mean, who, at this point, who doesn't have sexual misconduct? I know I do. Every day. All the time. To myself. Can you charge yourself with sexual indecency? I don't know. uh, Roiland has maintained his innocence. Disturbing, toxic workplace accusations led to Roiland being fired from Adult Swim and getting the boot from a lucrative overall Disney 20th television animation deal. And with Hulu... And the video game studio he co-founded called Squanch Games, where he they announced his resignation as CEO. Dryers us. Oh my god. That's like everything. And apparently, uh, him and co-creator Dan Harmon are not on speaking terms for multiple seasons. That sounds like Dan Harmon being like, I want nothing to do with this guy who's been charged with multiple felonies, as I was also charged with multiple Me Too offenses, which he was. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Yeah, okay, so uh, one of the editors and writers of an upcoming Mor- Rick and Morty concept album shared that Royland directed messaging asking her, can you write a song about nine dicks of different sizes and ethnic origins hanging above your face? And then in the lyrics, describe how they each splatter you with semen. Wait, what does that mean? You splash with semen? Oh my god, I can't even read this one. He said to an underage woman who uploaded the exchange to Twitter, you should run away from home and go into sex slavery, you effing stupid F-B word, JK. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, wow. Apparently he sent female employees really creepy texts late at night. She didn't want to run it up the flagpole, but, you know, it was just then this really effed up awkward thing. He's had sexual, he's had several sexual harassment allegations against him in the 2020 season. I mean, he does do the show drunk. So, you know. He said, uh, additional sources claim that Royland lacked focus at the office, citing that writers would regularly walk over to a Toys R Us where they would buy action figures or Nerf guns. And then Royland would play with them the rest of the day and couldn't get any work done. How dare he not work hard because he was playing with toys. It's very disturbing. He says that they, he expects all of these to be dismissed by the district attorney. Do you think he's guilty? Are you astonished by this behavior? Do you think this is just another one of those Hollywood elites run amok? What do you think? Let us know in the comments down below as Noob Noob sleeps. No. During. Oh, what do you think? I, I think Santa Claus is coming to town. And then Jack Murphy is the best. Oh, my God. Yeah, what, what are we talking about? Way to contribute. Let us know down below what you think. Let us know whether or not Noob Noob should be fired for on-the-job drinking. No, on-the-job sleeping. Oh. I yeah. drank before the job. Right. Anyway, let us know what you think down below and uh, catch our full-length audio podcast. It is on Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all those places for free to you. And we do our live stream Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We love y'all. Thank you for watching. Catch us on the next one because we are out.